I don't know what it is, like whenever you like you go to a store and you see like a bunch of balls, don't you just like your first instincts is just to go grab the balls and like squeeze them? I think that's just you. Look at all the balls that I can grab, but not now because we're, you know, in a pandemic. Probably not the most hygienic thing to do, but if we weren't in the middle of a pandemic, please believe me, I would be touching all these balls and grabbing them firm. I just realized these are Steph Curry's balls. Oh, why are you rubbing it like that though? cock a doodle do if you're not subscribed remember to subscribe to the channel press the bell next to it so you get a notification every time i drop a new video and in the words of my grandpa subscribe fish yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. What's up everybody? It's been a while since we did one of these shopping experiences at a cheap store like Marshall's. We did Ross a few times, you know, Ross, dress for less, dress for sex. We're gonna see what they have, see if they got any good deals for some sneakers, some ultra rare finds. As you saw at Ross, we found some player exclusives. Let's see what we got at Marshall's. You ready, Tony? Yes, sir. Let go. fans out there we got some cheap $32 new balances now, these aren't the 574s these are the 500s but they kind of clean too what do you think tony would you rock this i could see you rocking this I'd wear that. with your floral shirts this is a little clean though we got some boost it looks like like the transparent outsole kind of reminds me of like what dames or kobe's even i thought they were dames when we walked up to no them. no everyone knows dames don't have boost i know that your mom knows that your sister knows that hey guys so i found my size what do you think tony look like a clown i look like a clown oh my god look at that Comfy, real comfy, and not tight at all. True to size. Why is there a giant hole behind your foot? That's how I like my shoes, Tony. All right, I don't tell you how to wear your clothes. If I did, you'd dress a lot better. Going home. <laughs> Who uh, hooping the alpha bounces? I did. What do you a think? Long time ago. Good basketball shoe. They were pretty good. I don't know. I was just too lazy to change into my other shoes, and they felt good, so I kept on playing ball. And a big mistake. Broke my ankle. You broke your ankle? <laughs> yeah. I probably did that to you, right? No, you weren't there. No, I probably did. No, I broke your you ankle there. many of times. No, you haven't. Many of times. No. Con Continental 80 Adidas. Like the Adidas Power Phase, so if you ever wanted the look of the Power Phase but didn't want to spend Power Phase money, $29.99. Just putting you guys on game. So they got my size, right? So I might cop them. What do you think? Oh, the Adidas version of Black Air Force Ones. I'm not about that crackhead lifestyle. Are you, Tony? They have your size. They have size three on here. Women's five. Women's three. Tony, this is you right here. You can have something like that. Yeah, I have a corduroy brown one of this. Oh, a nice 30 bucks. It's extra small, that's why it looks so mm. I also have one of these, but Zara's, not Levi's. That's the beauty of Marshall's. Fine deals. Could I buy this or is it too small? What do you think, Tony? Vote in the comment section below. I think it's too big for you. Fellas, word of advice, you want to get your lady a little something? Come to Marshall, get her a little designer bag, you know, Burberry, the Gucci, Birkin bags, you know, all here, $35. That's how you treat your ladies. Then, you know, take her out for a nice meal at Burger King. Y'all want cheap jerseys, cheap baseball jerseys, which is our in, you know, 40 bucks for some Red Sox jerseys. Tony, want a Gordon Hayward jersey? No. What's up, everybody? So we got some. I think we got to go to a few more Marshalls, Tony. You got to get ready for school, man. School's coming up. Got to get right back to school shopping. Wait, how old are we? We're at the next Marshalls. What do you think about these, Tony? Way too yellow. What are you trying to say about you hate your own kind? Low key, kind of fire. I'm not a really big fan of Boost. How about you, Tony? You like Boost? Not those, but yes. Low key, didn't they have like a Dragon Ball Z like Goku color version? Yeah, I saw it on Instagram. It was like Dragon Ball Z like Goku. It was like, if you don't know, if you have a court date or <laughs> you want to go for a run, we got these. I know your birthday just passed a few months ago. You want this? Is that a lady slipper? Yes, sir. So what are you asking me? Because you're the only lady in my life. This is more for you because <laughs> you're my son.
the brand new Yeezys on your 2020. These are kind of fire, Dre. You should wear these. Ooh, those are. I mean, I mess with them. I mess with them. All you need is my shorts. 50 bucks. Foam Posit Air Force Ones. Alligator skin? Yeah, something like your dad probably wore back in the day. Yeah, you those know. gators. Gator boots <laughs> with the pimped out. Gucci suit. The Gucci suit. What about these, Dre? That was ugly. I think Trey Young hooped in these. Would you rock those? They're 30 bucks. So, hell yeah, I would. Dies 15. Next level Adidas. Those look like some protege. Al Harrington shoes. Yep. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Wearing masks saves lives, right? But it is irritating the shit out of the back of my ear. And it hurts. If you guys have any ways to protect against that, let me know in the comments. Down below. No, up above, Trey. Up above. You feeling a little naughty? Kind of mess with those. Not you would mess with those. Oh, okay. So we got some Jordans here. Don't know what they are. They're size 17. And you know what they say about big shoes, right? Oh, I know, Trey Breeze. Trust me, I know. The thing about Marshalls, right? You can find great deals. Shoes are just hella big. You getting some luggage? I am in my bag. Look, is uh, Kevin Durant's backpack. Cause he a cupcake. So you guys going back to school, right? I don't know if you kids still wear these, but back in the day, kids used to rock the Jan Sports. If you were one of the cool kids, you ride it all the way up like this. Don't skip class, by the way, but you ever skip class and go to the kids playing in the gym and you're like, yo, let me get one, let me get one. Nah, don't, we didn't have a gym. Explains a lot, your lack of athletic abilities. <laughs> Some vape, luxury on it, so you know it's luxurious. Cow print. I can see you wearing this, Dre. That's official. That was a test, Dre. That's an ugly ass sweater. If you ever been to Urban Outfitters, this would be $30, $40, right? At Marshall's, it's 10 bucks. Not that I'm saying I would be wearing a Smurf shirt. Now, this one's fire. I might get this. It is. I might get it this. It is. <laughs> no new friends. No new friends. If that was the case, then you wouldn't be my friend. Because I wasn't friends with you out the womb. Dre, I can see you wearing this. Some Versace, Versace, Versace. Medusa had him. I'm a nanny. But I'm a nanny. I'm a nanny. has NBA socks, albeit off brand looking NBA socks, but nonetheless NBA socks. They photoshopped this dude's base on my body. Pink Himalayan salt and vinegar. Are they non-GMO? We're at Marshalls, okay? We're not at <laughs> TJ Maxx, okay? <laughs> If I unexpectedly die, I want you to use that footage of my funeral of me just hopping up and down. I bet. That's what I want to be remembered for, okay? <laughs> this is the money maker, Dre. Damn, these are light, Dre. Catch this. Good catch. They really got these like off-brand Adidas looking Yeezys here, right? Converse chucks, clean, cheap shoes that never go out of style. Feel this, Dre. Feel this. Squishy. It's like the meat at the yeah. supermarket. Picture this. Instead of boost foam to step on, get the meat at the supermarket and use that as the sole for your cushion in your shoes. Imagine how comfy that would be. My idea. Don't take it. Remember a while back I went to Ross to search for deals for exclusive items such as sneakers. There's no Rosses where I'm at, so if you remember, I actually went to San Francisco and went to various Ross locations in the Bay Area. If you haven't seen it yet, go check it out right here. But let's talk about the goodies we found at Marshalls. Our first thing we got is this Chelsea soccer jersey, football soccer, whatever you want to call it. I'm not gonna lie and say that I'm the biggest soccer or football fan, but I always like the look of jerseys, whatever sport it's in. Baseball jerseys, football jerseys, hockey jerseys, Soccer jerseys, cricket jerseys. Watch my jersey video if you haven't already. Shout out Hyundai, shout out Yokohama, shout out to Japan. I know Chelsea is one of the better clubs. I don't know if they're top, top tier, but you know, let me know in the comments below. This was $30. Definitely check Marshalls for those deals, man. This is clean. Next, we got this Yale shirt. I just like the look of collegiate gear. Gray with a pink trim, and it's kind of got that boxy look. But I'm not gonna lie, if you can see the Yale, it was supposed to be pink, but it faded off after one cycle in the wash. I mean, what can you expect? $8 at Marshalls. Next, we got this red. Nike hat. I actually have a black one that I got from TJ Maxx, I believe. Everyone has the black one, right? I wanted to be different and get the red one. Never go to the Nike store and get a hat. This retails for $20. I actually got this from Marshalls for 12 bucks. This is gonna be probably a hat to hit the gym in, you know, work out in, you know, cause I've been hitting the gym. And all the ladies will be like, hey, he's wearing a red Nike hat to work out in instead of the black one that every other dude works out in. He's different and much more handsome and sexy. Next, we got a Red Sox hat. If you don't know, I'm from Boston, 
So you know I gotta rep Boston. Although I will say I haven't been effing with the moves they've been doing, getting rid of their whole outfield. And LeBron is part owner of the Red Sox now, so go Yankees. Next, you already know I got the Space Jam Toon Squad shirt. Think about it, if you go to Urban Outfitters for a shirt like this, this will be $30. Of course, $8. And you know I'm gonna have to rock it with these bad boys right here. Finally, moving on to the sneakers, I got a red pair of New Balance 500s now. They're not the 574s, the ones that everybody likes, but I mean, they're still clean to rock. All red shoes. I actually got it from the Clarence Rack for $24. They're my size, and they're a good change up for when I don't wanna wear my Nikes or Adidas. And you know I'm a big Kawhi fan, so you know I gotta rep New Balance. And next, y'all thought I was joking, boom! I actually got these, the size 20 sneakers. You remember I did another video where I played basketball in some size 20 Kobe ADs, but these are the Adidas Marquee Boost. I'm probably gonna play in these again. Playing in size 20 basketball sneakers part dose. Press the notification bell so you know when I drop that video. Like I said, this is the Adidas Marquee Boost Low. $30, that's a steal for basketball shoes. I might have to uh, double socket in these though. And for those who think I'm just flexing for the people, that is size 20 right there. I did get some signature sneakers from Marshalls, James Harden, Step Back. These are James Harden's budget sneakers. You know, they're cheaper versions of Harden's line, so they're not the volume one, two, three, or four. Step Back 2s are actually out, so you know Marshalls got last year's versions, the Step Back 1. All white, all heavenly, looking good and stuff. I've never played in Harden's budget sneakers, but just feeling them and actually trying them on, they feel a lot more durable than the KD trays or the Kyrie fly caps, which are Kyrie and KD's budget models, if we're comparing Nets players in their sneakers. But being that this was a budget shoe and being at Marshalls, there was even more of a discount on these sneakers. I got these for $24. Yeah, man, I'm not gonna lie. Adidas has some cool options at Marshalls. I would have gotten the Continental 80s, but the only size they had was a size 15 and up. And the ones that were my size looked like some kid purposely poured some Pepsi all over the laces and tongue. They even had the Adidas Don 2 Crayola joints. Sadly, only in kid size. Brings me to my next point. There was a good amount of heat in Marshalls, but they just didn't fit or they came in kid sizes. The Reebok selection had kamikazes and questions, you know, AI's original sneaker. The Adidas Pro Model basketball shoes. For anyone near my age, I'm kind of dating myself, but if you know those sneakers, then one, you're old like me, but two, you know who shoes. They also had Dame Sixes in kid sizes too. Why do the kids get all the good sh and How could I forget the Yeezys that Marshalls had? Now these weren't just Yeezys. These were the brand new Marshalls Yeezy and Jordan collab. One in black and one in white. If you want to know the influence that Kanye has, he even convinced Michael Jordan to change up the jump man to do a split. Adidas man for the win. The total amount of money I spent at Marshalls was $134. That's like equal to one pair of sneakers that I would normally do for a video. Not bad for the things I cop. Alright man, that concludes the video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of the things I got from Marshalls. The soccer jersey. Shout out Chelsea. Shout out Yokohama. Shout out Hyundai. Shout out red Nike hats and girls in gyms working out. Shout out the Red Sox and LeBron James. Shout out everyone who wears size 20 shoes. Shout out James Harden with the all white sneakers. And shout out Space Jam, Bugs Bunny. And again, man, Marshall's got crazy stuff, man. If you just look around, they got good stuff. Think about it. You go to Urban Outfitters and spend $30, $40 on some graphic tees. You can go to Marshall's, get the same thing for a whole lot cheaper. Good shoes if you look for them. Don't sleep on Marshall's, man. And you know, people make fun of you for shopping at Marshall's. In the words of the illustrious Bernie Mac. Fuck em. Let me know where I should shop at next. I got a thrift store video coming out too. That's gonna be fire. Let me know what heat you guys got at your local Marshalls. If you made it this far in the video, you're a real one. Comment below, Yee Squad. Watch my other videos and playlists up there and down there. Until next time, we out. Peace.